Open banking is a philosophy that seeks to liberalize the use of consumers' banking data so that it can be processed by third parties. Its main aim is to encourage banking innovation and the development of new products and services, to increase competition in the banking market, and to facilitate the participation of new players while maintaining the consumer's decision-making power. Banks are losing their monopoly on customer data and facing competition from new entrants, but can increase their value proposition. The concept of open banking is based on the creation of the third party provider, or TPP, which can provide payment services without maintaining the customer's bank account, and on the use of APIs as a communication protocol between applications. Institutions, both financial and non-financial, can promote new business models or built on existing ones by seeking to provide a better customer experience, expand the range of products and services they offer, or broaden the markets in which they operate. Open banking can also enhance the business-to-business -business and business-to-customer distribution channel through integration with third parties. Many countries around the world have implemented or are developing an open banking model. Europe has pioneered a regulatory model in this area with the implementation of PSD2 in 2020 and continues to evolve it with regulatory proposals such as PSD3 and FIDA. There is also a clear trend in the Americas. For example, Brazil already has an operational framework for open banking, Mexico for its part is one of the first countries to approve the fintech law, and Chile has just approved its own fintech law. In the rest of the world, several countries have adopted open banking regulations, such as Australia, whose Data Act covers other sectors such as energy and telecommunications.